You remember what we are told today? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. I have a message that I give periodically, and the title of it is Sightseeing in Sodom. And I attempt to look at Sodom through the eyes of Lot himself. And he sure had a wrong view of it. And Mrs. Lot, she fell in love with it. And then the view of Abraham. You can sightsee in Sodom with Abraham. He lost nothing down there. Or you can go through Sodom with the Lord and see it as he sees it. And it's too bad that the church is not looking at the sin of sodomy. I don't think it's any greater today than it's been in the past, but there is today a tremendous percentage of our population that are homosexuals engaged in perversion, and today we speak of it in a more candid manner than we ever did. In fact, what I'm saying right now, 10 years ago I might not have said on the radio, but this is something today that's right in our midst. Now what's to be the attitude of the Christian toward it? Well, even Lot in his day, He said, you're doing wickedly, and God judged it. Isn't that enough for the child of God to know you can't compromise with this type of thing? This is a sin, and to indulge in it, and then to say, well, this is a sickness. The same thing said about the alcoholic. Sure, he's sick. Of course, he's sick. But what made him take that first drink and continue to drink until he became sick? Sin did it, friends. Sin is the problem, and this is a sin. It's so labeled in the first chapter of Romans. God says he gave them up. So Genesis 19 is a pretty important chapter for this present generation that we are living in today, and we need to recognize that. 